and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And I know you guys have been interested in how to complete those Harvest Daily solos, guys. And I'm sorry I did not get this, the first one for you guys yesterday. I had school. I didn't even know that thing was coming out. I knew there was a daily, but I didn't know it would be riddle-based. But, guys... I did this one in about five minutes for you guys. I got this done as quickly as possible. Hopefully, I can get this video up by like 11.05, the latest. I figured it out pretty quickly, guys. And honestly, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. The games are so the games are easier than you think. Because initially, I thought that I'd have to do those things throughout every quarter. It just starts you. You just got to do those things in that one quarter. It makes it pretty simple to do, quite honestly. And I'm pretty happy that I figured this out as quickly as I did so I can get this up for you guys. Now, yesterday's I did miss. That was the Barry Sanders one. That was the, uh, I think it was like three touchdowns in the first or the second half. And then like however many yards. Obviously, it all depends on the day. So today's Harvest Daily Challenge. Guys, before we get into showing you that, I want to give you guys a quick heads up. Guys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notify bell, boys. Come join the family. If you want to see these Harvest Daily solo answers every day, make sure you smack that subscribe button. I'll have these out for you every morning at 10.30 as early as possible. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to smash that like button, boys. I figured this out pretty quickly. Hopefully, I'm the first one to have it up. So make sure you're smashing that like button, boys. Get this video to 1,000 likes. Can we break our like record on a video? And comment down below, boys, if this helps you guys out in any way. Now let's get into it. So the Harvest Dailies. Yesterday was Barry Sanders' takeover. Today is Man vs. the King. A 1995 Lions vs. Viking game was explosive with incredible performances all around. Which of the following facts hold true? Select your two answers from the artwork below. Use the correct answers to complete the challenge. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you guys the answers. Then I'm going to go into the game real quick and show you guys kind of how to go about doing it. Because obviously, it doesn't, it's not as simple as it sounds. You guys got, I mean, it sounds worse than it is, I should say. Anyway, so... A is the Lions quarterback averaged one passing touchdown a quarter. B is Lions halfback Barry Sanders rushed for less than 100 yards. C is both quarterbacks averaged seven plus completions a quarter. And D, the Lions won the game by 20 points. Now that's kind of, kind of looks kind of intimidating, right? You don't know which one's which. So I'm gonna take you over to the display capture real quick. So I came over to the actual game and the pro football focus or pro football reference stats from that day. Lions beat the Vikings 38 points. So let's go check out the, let's go fact proof these ones. You need to have two of them correct. So first one is the Lions quarterbacks averaged one passing touchdown per quarter. So that one I couldn't really justify, obviously. I mean, I could look from here, obviously. But I want to find the ones that aren't true, right? So Lions halfback Barry Sanders rushed for less than 100 yards. So I came on down. And if you check the rushing stats, Barry Sanders had 138 yards. So that means that Barry Sanders, B, is false. So that is not one of the answers. Now we're down to three, right? We only need two. The next one is going to be the C, which is quarterbacks average seven plus completions a quarter. Again, that is not one that I could fact check. So, I mean, I could, but it's a little harder. So let's go to D. The Lions won the game by 20 points. Clearly, they did not. They only won by six points. So we could take D out of the equation, and we could take B out of the equation. So the answers must be A and C. Now, heading on back over to the screen, guys. Uh, if you guys can't see the thing, you guys should probably already know what it is. Let me move the face camera real quick over there somewhere. But just so you guys can see it, I'm going to move it. So A is the Lions quarterback's average one passing touchdown a quarter. That one is going to be the correct answer and then c is both quarterbacks average seven plus completions in a quarter so now you're thinking right it's, it's 10 minute quarters how it's gonna go i'm gonna get into the game to show you guys that it's not as hard i completed it on easy you only have to play it on one star unless you want the free player if you want the free player make sure you're playing it on a higher star but i'm gonna show you guys an easy just to show you guys how to get it done so i recommend taking a picture of it i like to have the picture sitting there so i know what to do so we have to get the pass requirement minimum is 100 yards in the game then we need seven plus completions and a touchdown right so both quarterbacks average seven completions. Quarterbacks had a touchdown, so you only have to play the third quarter, pretty much. So you only have to do, you don't have to, I thought I would have to do it like every quarter, I'd have to do those stats, but it's just the one quarter. You just gotta keep the ratios going for the quarter. So this is the fastest way to go about doing it, guys. Now, depending on, I recommend you take this back all the way to make it a lot easier on yourself because you're going to need the yardage totals. So you can do this one of two ways. Let me get the face cam back on for you guys so you can see me. So there you go. So there's one or two ways. So I recommend doing quick slants real quick just to get the completions done. And you're going to want to get down the field. So if you start from this far back, getting down the field should not take as long as it does. Just do that. I possession catch it, go down, hurry up offense, and so on and so forth. You want to get to seven. So I recommend counting. So we're on one as we can, you know, as you can see. I'm going to go on right there. It starts A, possession catch it, go up the field. That's number two. Hurry up offense. Now I'm going to skip through this real quick just to get to the seven completions. All right, guys, so I'm back. So I think we are on five completions, as you can see. So here we go. We got number six right there. And then once we got, as you can see, the, the secret goal just popped up. I do have five catches. That should be number six right there. So there you go, number six. Now, the only thing left after I get the seventh catch is a touchdown and 100 yards, which is why you want to run back. 
So let's get as close as possible as we can get. And then we're going to want to run back a little bit. So as you can see, we got our seven right there. The seven is done. Now we need a touchdown and 100 yards. So the best thing you could probably do here, in my opinion, is get the yardage and then run backwards. So I'll show you guys that right here. I'm going to get up a little bit more. All right, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we completed the first one. Now we just need the touchdown and the 100 yards. So I'm going to get the first, and then I'm going to run backwards. So throwing it to A, get the yardage. Okay, go down. And now you're going to want to run backwards so you don't have to play another drive. This is the best thing I could recommend. So I'm going to do halfback dive. I'm going to cut it back instantly. We need about 30 yards, 20 yards, give or take. So let's run back right here. Perfect. Now we're going to need the touchdown. And then once we get this touchdown, the solo should theoretically end, as it did for me the first time. Hopefully nothing goes wrong here. And again, there's a possibility that you guys, you know, it's not as easy as it is. Like, although it's arcade and it's on easy, I'm not going to lie. They actually do kind of play defense. So there is a chance, like for my first time, I actually had to go back on defense. And you can let them score. It doesn't really matter. So I got the 100 yards done. Now all I need is the touchdown and the game will end. So let's see. Go to Y. Oh, crap. All right. Fourth down, guys. There's a good chance I'm about to get back on defense. Hopefully I don't. But let's see what we can do right here. All right. So we're on fourth down. I think B should be wide open in the back of the end zone, and we got it. Okay, that was kind of weird, but there we go. That is a touchdown right there, so we got our seven completions. We got our touchdown. We got everything done there. Return to challenges. Now, that should, in theory, give us the win as it ended, so it must have given us the win because pretty much this thing won't end as a fail until the third quarter is completely over. You got to, you know, you have the whole third quarter to do it, so there we go. Completed. I won the game. There we go. That's win two games, so remember, here's my tip. So the quickest way to do it. Run your kick return, initial kick return, all the way back to like the four yard line, one yard line. You need 100 yards, so you're not gonna be able to get it on that first drive. You're gonna have to go all the way down. I recommend doing quick slants, throw to A or X the whole time. Get your quick completions done. Once you get your quick completions done, then you can go down the field and drive. Once you get within the 10 yard line, you're going to want to take the ball and run it backwards like 20, 30 yards. Make sure you're monitoring how many completions you have, because if you score a touchdown without having your seven completions done just yet, you will inevitably have to keep playing the game, and you do not want to do that. You want to get this done as quickly as possible as well as you need the touchdown. So if you, there's a chance that when you run back, guys, they do kind of play defense. So if they do end up playing defense on you, you might have to kick that. You might end up turning the ball over, and that's okay. It just delays the game by like five minutes. You give them back the ball, let them score, and then come back on offense and get your five yards. Or if you get the touchdown, right, you could also go down, get the touchdown, get your completions, and just not get the 100 yards. Then on defense, stop them, and then just throw like a 20-yard pass, and you're done. This isn't easy, so you can break tackles, but the defense is really fast and really upgraded. So like, I, you can't just bomb it. Like I was trying to bomb, and I wasn't getting the animation. So it wasn't as easy as it, it should have been. But guys, for the remainder of this week, if you guys are looking to complete these harvest challenges, remember, if you go to the actual game day and you check out the objectives, pretty much they give you two that are completely wrong. And those are the ones you got to find because it's like, it's like it's how I got through school, a process of elimination. You want to check to see which ones are wrong. And then once you know which ones are wrong, you can pretty much figure out which ones are right. And there's two options. So it makes it a lot easier. So remember, guys, if you want to see these every day, make sure to come back, subscribe, hit that like button, come back every day and watch. And guys, quick little tip. These games only take like, Six, as you see, I probably did this in like three or four minutes. It is not that hard. Make sure you're, if you don't, if you want to get the card though, make sure you're not playing on easy. The 82 to 85 harvest card does take two stars. So you're going to want to play on medium. Medium is going to be a slightly harder. You might actually have to give them back on defense because they're going to be a little bit better. But as long as you guys have a decent team and you guys follow those tips, it shouldn't be that hard. Like I said, pretty easy. I thought it'd be a little more challenging. Thank God. If this was in one, two, three, and four quarters, this would have completely sucked. To be honest with you, that would have, that would have really killed the game just because of the fact that we'd have to deal with going through four quarters of averaging those ratios would have sucked and it was on 10 minute quarters but this was not that bad sorry i couldn't get the barry sanders for you guys yesterday i wish i could have gotten those done for you yesterday but like i said i had school i had no idea these were out like i knew they were out but i didn't know there was going to be a riddle involved now that i know it's going to be every day i don't know how long these are going to last but as far as for the, the content to give you guys hopefully it lasts a lot i really like making these videos for you guys this was an easy video to make for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'm gonna try to get these done as early as possible every day so if you're new to the channel make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that notify bell boys to be notified every time i post this video every morning when it does release comment down below if you guys have any quicker ways to beat it to help out the community down below i know a lot of people will be grateful that you help them out down below and if you guys have any questions like if you're confused on anything go to twitter my twitter links down below dm me directly so i can help you guys out with what to do and also comment down below and help everyone out if you have any questions i will answer them and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up boys i got through this as quickly as possible for you i rushed through it i figured out the objective quickly so make sure you guys smash the like button can we break our record of a thousand likes if we can guys that'll be crazy this will be the video to do it guys so make sure you're smashing that like button if you're a loyal supporter smash it guys and that's about it hopefully i wonder if tomorrow's gonna be barry i wonder if there might be i don't know guys i don't know if this is true but maybe you want to do all of them maybe if you do all of them at the end 
it'll unlock a secret sequ uh, a secret sequence that can give you guys some cool reward. I'm not entirely sure, guys, but stay on the lookout for the rest of my videos today. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.